Okay, Muppet fans, the word of the day, really the word of the week, is credible. Going into yesterday's hearing, everyone was focused on whether or not Christine Blasey Ford would be a credible witness. After her appearance before the Senate Judiciary Committee, several committee Republicans emerged to say that, yes, they found her testimony quite credible. Today, even Donald Trump said that he found Dr. Ford credible. But there were two people who gave testimony yesterday. And over the course of Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation process, even before yesterday, credible was not a word that sprang to mind regarding his testimony. And that was true in a way that we've really not seen for, a, for very many Supreme Court nominees, at least since Clarence Thomas. As in the Thomas hearings back in 1991, the salacious nature of the sexual misconduct allegations against Brett Kavanaugh has overshadowed the other key information at issue in the confirmation process. But even before Christine Blasey Ford came forward and upended this process, Democrats were raising substantive questions about Brett Kavanaugh's credibility on a number of issues related to his judicial and political career. For instance, whether Brett Kavanaugh lied under oath about receiving documents stolen from Senate Democrats while he worked in the George W. Bush White House, and whether he lied under oath about his involvement in a couple of very controversial judicial nominations as the Bush White House's point man on court picks. There's the allegation just this week from Senate Judiciary Committee ranking Democrat Dianne Feinstein that Brett Kavanaugh was not honest with the committee when he, at, when he was asked whether, as a prosecutor on the Ken Starr team, he provided secret information from the grand jury process to reporters. And there's the question of the credibility of Brett Kavanaugh's insistence that he does not remember anything weird at all going on in Judge Alex Kaczynski's chambers when Kavanaugh clerked there even though numerous former Kaczynski clerks have described an atmosphere full of inappropriate sexual comments, both in person and via email. And even though Alex Kaczynski resigned abruptly from the bench last year after a litany of sexual harassment allegations were made against him, stretching back decades. And really, that's why Kavanaugh's small-scale untruths in his testimony yesterday about his youthful drinking or his high school yearbook struck several Democratic senators as part of a worrying pattern a pattern they brought up today before the Judiciary Committee vote. Time and time again, when confronted under oath with questions about his involvement in Bush-era scandals or controversial matters, Judge Kavanaugh misled the Senate. Now, the fact that he's misled the Senate over and over and over again, that does not make him guilty of sexual assault as a 17-year-old. Nor does the fact that he minimized the heavy drinking in his youth and misrepresented the misogyny in his yearbook. But it does go to the heart of Judge Kavanaugh's truthfulness any time he's faced with potentially incriminating questions. I did not find him credible. I don't believe boof is flatulence. I don't believe the devil's triangle is a drinking game. And I don't believe calling yourself a girl's alumnus is being her friend. And I think drinking till you Ralph or fall out of the bus or don't remember the game or need to piece together your memory the next day is more consistent with Dr. Ford's and others' testimony than his own. Christine Blasey Ford spent yesterday being scrutinized for anything that might possibly show her to not be 100 percent, 1,000 percent credible. But Brett Kavanaugh has left some serious doubts on the table about his own truthfulness before the Senate committee as he seeks a promotion to a lifetime seat on the nation's highest court. In the next week, an FBI investigation might deliver some answers to some of the questions raised during these hearings. And a week is... Drinking is one thing, but the concern is about truthfulness. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.